Hello, hello, hello. Happy day. Happy Tuesday night for those tonight joining live. Um, just happy day, happy evening for whenever you're watching the video. Um, life cycles yoga. And tonight we're doing some Vin Yin. And I think it's really, really nice to practice yoga, especially between these eclipses. So I hope that you can connect, move your body, breathe a little bit. Um, but also, you know, between these eclipses, the new moon in Taurus and the full moon in Scorpio, it's really important to connect to nature. So um, being outside, smelling the trees, watching the birds, sitting next to water, you know, just sitting in the sun, take off your shoes and put your feet in the grass, lay under a tree, whatever you can do to be outside, just sit on the back porch is nice too. Connecting with nature, the rhythm and cycles of nature, watching the new growth in the springtime here in the Northern Hemisphere. It's really lovely. I've been working with an oil here called Naturally Lovable. It's really, it's really nice. It's like very flowery and um, orangey. It has some sandalwood for grounding, but um, I love that because Taurus is the first earth sign, you know, and it's really about healing modalities through through um, the earth, you know, connecting with um, your physical body because it rules the physical body as well, all earth signs, okay? And then the water signs are the mental body, the emo or not the mental body, but the emotional body. It's uh, the water sign, Scorpio is a water sign. And Scorpio runs deep. We're really moving into, um, we're moving towards that full moon in Scorpio. So we'll have a half moon this weekend. So just check in with how you're feeling. We're only a few days out from that new moon, that new moon energy, which has shifted our path or brought up things, illuminated things for our path for the next six months. So how are you sitting with this energy? How are you feeling into it? I've been feeling really scattered, you know, and really emotional up and down, up and down, like feeling okay. And then I'm like, what about this? You know, and it just bubbles to the surface. Um, one thing about Scorpio full moon is like uh, secrets can be revealed. Scorpio um, rules secrets. So as we move towards that a uh, week and a half to that uh, eclipse on May 15th, what secret are you holding? And it's not necessarily about something that you're doing, right? Or hiding, or it could be an emotion that you don't necessarily show to others. It could be thoughts that you um, haven't shared with another, um, you know, or a talent, a hidden talent or something. So yeah, it doesn't have to be bad. It doesn't have to be negative. Um, right now, sticking to your personal practice or your ritual or your sadhana, which we call it in yoga, um, is really good because we can feel ungrounded and unstable right now. So what can you do to calm your nervous system? What can you do to stick with your ritual or taking care of yourself? Remember, Taurus is the basic needs. Drink your water, eat a good meal, and get lots of rest basic needs. Okay. That can be a big help for you. Um, I was thinking about yoga vows today. Um, I started a recent practice. Um, if you read the newsletter, um, I shared that I am finishing out my Reiki training. Finally, I'm going to be, um, attuned to the highest level so I can start offering healing Reiki. And I'm really excited about that. I feel very passionate about it. And I have for quite a long time, I found the perfect teacher for it for me. And every morning I wake up and I recite the Reiki principles. So I lay in bed, I recite them, and I place my hands on my, on my body somewhere and just allow myself to awaken through the healing light of Reiki. Um, beautiful practice. But then I started thinking about yoga vows. And um, there are a couple of vows that I really love to repeat to myself sometimes before my practice. So I wanted to share those with you. So um, maybe one will relate, maybe one calls to you, maybe one resonates for you, but some of the yoga vows that I oftentimes will think about or repeat before my practice or class are, um, be patient to your restlessness, be kind to your body, be grateful for the opportunity of just being here now and be driven by the chance to learn a little more about yourself, to know a little bit more and a little bit deeper. So yeah, maybe there's some vows that you say to yourself. And again, 
maybe starting or starting a new ritual or a new sadhana, like that practice in the morning or the evening, even just waking up and saying something to yourself or your mantra can be really uplifting. Or just when you go to bed, repeat what you're grateful for for that day. Empowering, uplifting, loving and compassionate kindness to yourself. All right, to our season between eclipses and happy May. Why don't we get started into our practice today? Um, I'm going to bring, to bring this over. I put some oils on. So what I want to do today is actually we're going to do our pranayama um in between our vin yin i've been thinking about the eight limbs of yoga a little bit more and the eight limbs of yoga go sort of in a circle you don't have to do them all at once but they are set up in order to build off one another so the first is yamas and niyamas and then you have asana which is moving the body and then pranayama which is the breath work so I'm just practicing it a little bit with starting the breath work more in the middle so that we can move our body and um in the middle of class so we can move our body and come into a physical sense of letting some of this energy go, okay? All right, so why don't we start seated? I'm gonna move my bolster to the side. Today we'll need a bolster if you want one, a couple blocks and a blanket. All right, coming into a seated position. Let's place our hands on our knees. Oh, I have somebody entering the room. So place your hands on your knees and just start to circle the head. Uh, circling the head, bringing the ear to the shoulder, chin to chest. Um, yeah, circling the head. Hey, Usta. I'm just gonna go ahead. Yeah. We're just sitting in a comfortable position, placing our hands on our knees. Bringing our ears to our shoulders, chin to chest, just circle, right? Taurus rules the neck, the throat, the throat chakra, the larynx, and the thyroid. All right, switch directions. Mm, just loosening up that area of our body and into our shoulders. All right, come back to neutral and inhale fingertips to the sky. And exhale, release the hands to the sides. <sighs> Inhale, fingertips to the sky. And exhale, drop your right hand down to the floor. Allow your left arm to lean over, opening up your left side body here. Good. Let's try to bring the gaze up towards the ceiling. One more deep breath here. Good, inhale, bring both fingertips to the sky. Elongate the spine, pull the belly button in. And exhale, goddess the arms, bend the elbows. Press the shoulder blades back towards the spine, almost feel them touch back there, good. Inhale, fingertips high. And exhale, this time drop that left arm down, let the right arm come over to the left side, opening and extending this right side body. Bringing the arm over the ear and then turn the gaze up towards the sky. Good, a few deep breaths here. Good, and then come back to neutral, bringing the fingertips to the sky, inhale. And exhale, drop the hands down. All right, a couple shoulder rolls. Mercury just moved into Gemini. And this is a big deal because Mercury rules Gemini. So our words come out clearer, more concise more communicative. We feel like we want to talk more. We want to connect more and we got to say what we want to say. Switch directions, move forward. And Gemini is the shoulder. So a lot of that energy is starting to come into our shoulders, moving down from the neck. All right, good. And release. Okay. So let's open up our legs into a V position. Flex those toes back towards your knees. Inhale, fingertips to the sky. And exhale, bring the hands down to the floor. Drop your chin to your chest. Let your head hang. Good. One more breath here in this wide-legged fold. 
And then start to bring the chest back up. Tuck this right heel into the body, bending that right knee, leaving the left leg nice and straight and health fingertips to the sky. And exhale, turn towards that leg and bend at the waist. Let your hands come down, let your head come down towards your knee. Good, just finding some nice active movement here, even though we're sitting, flex the left toes back to the knee. Deep breaths here. Good, and release. Inhale, chest up, fingertips up. And exhale, let's twist to the right. So bring the right hand down behind you, left hand opposite knee. Keep these hips on the floor, okay? Your hip bones. You don't want that left one to come up and shine out. Keep those hips on the floor. Nice, solid twist here. Straight back, look over the right shoulder, deep inhale up through the spine. And exhale, let it go. Again, deep inhale, all the way up the spine through the crown of the head. And exhale, twist a little bit deeper, ring out that back. Good job. Inhale, come back forward, fingertips to the sky. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Just bend at the waist a little bit and let your chin come to your chest. Release that lower back. Good, pop on back up. Let's switch out the legs. Straighten the right leg, bend the left leg. So bring that heel in towards the body. Inhale, fingertips to the sky. And exhale, turn towards that right leg, bend at the waist. Bring the hands down. Good, hands can touch the floor or the leg. Let your chin come down towards the chest. And you found that sweet spot. Good, keep those right toes, flex back to the knee. Keep the tendon active. And release, inhale, fingertips to the sky, deep inhale. Exhale, let's twist this time, bringing the left hand down and right hand on that knee, keeping the hips on the floor. Nice big twist here. Look over your left shoulder, inhale through the spine, through the crown of the head, imagining the breath traveling upwards. Deep exhale, twist a little bit more. Again, inhale, travel up the spine, through the crown of the head. And exhale, look over that left shoulder, ring out the neck. Good, inhale, come back forward, fingertips high, deep inhale, and exhale, bend at the waist, bring the hands down to the mat, let your chin come down towards your chest. Just release that lower back. Good job, pop that chest back up, let's come into tabletop. So coming onto our knees, stacking them underneath our hips, wrists underneath the shoulders, Find some movement here in the hips. Just tracking how you're feeling today. Good. All right, now let's do wag the tail. So wag the tail is you look over the left shoulder and the left hip comes over to the left side. Then you look over the right shoulder, switch the hips, press the right hip to the right side. And then just keep switching it out. And you can do this as fast as you want or as slow as you want. Just getting some mobility through that back. Spine, the hips. Nice. All right, come back to neutral. And inhale, cow, drop the belly, lift the gaze, flip those toes under. Stay here and just keep pressing your belly to the mat. Let's take two big breaths. Good, okay, one more deep inhale here. And then exhale, cat, arch the back and drop the head. Untuck the toes, but tuck that tailbone in towards your body. Allow the back to press up to the ceiling. Stay here, two big breaths. Good, inhale, cow, drop the belly, lift the gaze, flip your toes. And exhale, cat, arch the back, untuck the toes. 
Good, let's do a few more of these on our own breath, inhaling for cow and exhaling for cat. Good, and release. Coming back into a neutral position, flip those toes under, inhale, look forward, spread your fingers out nice and wide. Exhale, lift the hips up slowly for down dog, allowing the head to just hang. Bring the attention into the head and just give it a couple turns. Good, just a little bit of turns here, shaking it out a little bit. Inhale, look back at your yogi toes in a neutral position. And exhale, start to lower your knees back down to the mat really slowly. Good job. Extend that left leg out behind you, pressing the left toes into the mat, pressing the heel back. Open up the calf. Nice. And release. Bring that knee back down. Next leg. Extend the right leg out behind you. Press the right toes into the mat and press the heel back. Good job. Open up that right heel. Good, deep breaths here. And release, okay. So from here, we're gonna come into dolphin and placing our forearms onto the mat, clasp the fingers. Okay, knees are still on the mat. So for dolphin, what's really important is that you're pressing strong through the forearms. It's like down dog, but it's on forearms. Now, this might be a little bit intense. So if it starts to feel too intense or you don't wanna you know, venture into this, just keep the knees on the mat, okay? Be safe, okay? So flipping the toes under, inhale, look forward to your clasped hands. And then exhale, we press into the mat and lift the hips up, allowing the head to come down towards the mat. Now, you could just stay here for a second and then come down, it's okay. Let's just take a few breaths if you wanna continue, all right? Good, next exhale, let the knees come back down. Nice work. All right, come back up onto the tabletop. Flip those toes under. Inhale, look forward, and exhale, down dog. So from here, we're gonna walk our hands back towards our knees. Now, this isn't accessible for everybody. What you can do is just stay in tabletop, walk the hands back, and then step up behind you. Be safe, listen to your body. Good, okay. So we're meeting at the back of the mat. We're looking forward towards our mat as if it's a path for us to follow. Checking in with the vows of yoga, if you have some, just be patient with your restlessness. Be kind to your body. Be grateful for the opportunity to be here now. And be driven by the opportunity to explore yourself a little deeper. Do any of those resonate with you? Closing down the eyes, bringing the hands to heart center, making a vow to yourself for at least until the next eclipse to try one thing new or stick to a ritual, one little thing, maybe a mantra in the morning, maybe drink a cup of tea in the morning, whatever you feel called towards, one little ritual until the next eclipse. Even just saying a vow to yourself, good. Press the thumbs into the chest. Take a nice big deep inhale, reconnecting with your physical body. Nice big exhale, let your worries go. Good, and then inhale, bring those hands up high to the sky, fluttering open the eyes. Bend the knees slightly and exhale like you're diving forward into a pool. Keep those knees bent a little bit, good. Inhale, halfway lift, lifting the spine, flat back, and exhale to fold. Good, bend the knee slightly. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your fingertips high, and exhale, goddess arms, bend the elbow. Inhale, hands up high, and exhale, drop the hands down. Let's step our right foot forward, keeping our legs not too far apart. We're gonna come into pyramid pose. 
So keeping the legs nice and straight, you might want to grab a block or two here, which is nice like that, and place them on either side of your right foot. Inhale, hands up high. And exhale, start to bend at the waist, bringing the hands down to the blocks or the mat. Check in with your hips. Make sure that they are into the center of the mat. Good. Just breathe. Saying hello to these hamstrings, letting your head hang. Two more big breaths here. Good. All right, so from here, this left leg, keep it there because we're gonna have our left hand here on the block or the mat. We need a revolved triangle. So revolved triangle works our right arm up towards the sky. So typically we're the other way, triangle, we have our right hand down and our left arm up. This one is revolved, it's a little bit twisted, twisted triangle. Left hand is down, right arm is up. Take a deep inhale here, extending through those right fingertips. And exhale, release back down. Nice work. Start to bend into that right front leg and inhale, lift the heart slowly from the inversion and then lift the fingertips high. Exhale, settle in. Warrior one, and if you want to step your left foot back a little bit, you can. Sometimes people like to have it a little bit more extended. Drop your shoulders, right knee over that right ankle. Deep inhale here. Exhale, drop the hand. So you can do airplane arms behind you or clasp the fingers behind your lower back. Inhale, heart to sky. And exhale, shoulder to thigh, humble warrior. Giving yourself the space and grace just to breathe and move. Good, release the hands, inhale, lift the heart. Lift the fingertips high and exhale, drop the hands. We're gonna step that left foot forward on the mat to fold. Folding top of the mat this time and inhale, halfway lift, exhale to fold. Bend your knees slightly, inhale, lift your heart, lift your fingertips high and exhale, drop the hands to your side. This time we're gonna step that right foot back Coming into pyramid on the other side. So both legs are straight. The right foot might be at about one o'clock, sometimes just depending on your hips, where you want it. Okay, inhale through the heart, elongate the spine. And then exhale, start to fold at the waist. Nice place to use your blocks again on either side of the left foot. Let your head hang. Good, make sure those hips are in the center. Good, breathe. One more breath here, saying hi to that hamstring. Nice. Now we're going to shift our attention into a revolved triangle here which keeping the right hand on the mat or on a block on the inside of our left foot, start to draw that left hand to the sky, taking a deep inhale, good. Hips may wanna pop out to the left side, try to keep them into the middle. Good, inhale and extend through that arm. One more breath. Exhale, let that left hand come back down. Nice work. All right, we're gonna bend into this left front knee just to come up slowly out of this inversion. Nice, and into our warrior one. So the left knee comes over the left hip. Shoulders are square to the front of the mat. Fingertips come high, keeping those pinkies turned inward and relaxing the shoulders down. Good, inhale here. Exhale, settle in. Nice work, inhale here. 
And exhale, release the hands. You can airplane the hands behind you, pointing the fingertips down towards the floor. Or if your shoulders are feeling open, you can clasp those fingers behind your back. Inhale, heart to sky. And exhale, shoulder to thigh, coming down slowly into humble warrior. Nice work. Deep breaths here, bowing down, giving ourselves space and grace. Good, release those hands, inhale, lift the heart. Lift the fingertips high. And exhale, release the hands. Let's step our right foot forward and fold. Forward fold at the top of the mat. Soft knees. Good, bend those knees slightly. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your fingertips high. Exhale, hands down to heart center, pressing the thumbs into the chest, making a promise to yourself in between these eclipses to do one thing, to make a vow or a mantra or one simple thing to reconnect every day, to ground, to anchor. Good, and release and help fingertips to the sky. Exhale, let's cross that right arm underneath the left. Give yourself a big hug or maybe eagle arms, wrapping those arms together. Inhale here. And exhale, start to fold up the waist, just bringing in a little squeeze here for the lymph nodes. Detoxing, squeezing them out. Good, soft knees. And release. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the fingertips high. And exhale, swan dive forward, fold. <sighs> Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Bend your knees slightly. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your fingertips high. Again, exhale, other side, right arm underneath, or right arm over left this time, switching it out. Hold your, your shoulders or eagle arms. Good. Inhale, lift those elbows. And exhale, bend at the waist, squeeze down. It doesn't have to be very far, just kind of squeezing out the toxins here, the lymph nodes. Really nice to open that upper back as well. Squeeze and breathe. Good, and release. Inhale, fingertips high to the sky. Exhale to fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale to fold, bend the knees, inhale, lift the heart. So from here, open up into tree pose, or tree pose, mountain pose, sorry about that. So mountain pose is really deeply connected to the earth signs. It is stable, it is secure, just like Taurus season, Taurus season asks us to slow down, to lean into the security, what makes us feel safe. What makes us feel comfortable? Close down those eyes. What gives you that mountain effect, the stability, the connectedness, the groundedness that you feel in your life? Good, shining the palms forward. Nice. So from here, we will work our way into tree pose for a little bit of balance today. If you have a chair nearby or want to go to a wall, that can work too. So we're going to find our balance in the left leg first as we pop our right knee out forward and then shift it so it turns to the right. So leaving that heel on the ankle and just balancing here can be a beautiful first start, right? Trees don't start out like the redwoods, hundreds of feet tall and strong. Trees start out as little baby limbs, little tiny little shoots coming out of the ground. We also need a place to start our tree pose. Keep your gaze down, find a spot that you can focus on. And if you want to, you can lift that foot, the sole of the foot to the calf, or even maybe the inner thigh if that's calling to you, okay? Once you find your stability here, play with your branches. You can grow them, you can sway them, you can do whatever you want. You could keep them down too. There's all kinds of trees in this world. Choose yours, whatever you want. and breathe and balance. One more breath. 
and release. Shake it out, you guys. Shake it out. Puts a lot of emphasis into that left leg. Good. So before we move to the other side, let's circle those left toes. Put the left toes on the mat. Circle that heel. Get some circulation going in there. Good. Now let's switch to the other side. Toes, right toes on the mat. Just circling that heel a little bit. Good job. All right. Let's move to the other side. So finding the stability in the right leg. Hands out in mountain pose, shining the palms forward. Pop the left knee forward so you come onto the toes. And then open up the left leg to the left side. Let your heel rest on your ankle. First pose, first position of tree pose. Good. And then start to grow. Maybe bringing the sole of the foot to the calf or the thigh. Keep your gaze down. Focus and breathe. Focus and breathe. And then play with your branches. Focus and breathe, focus and breathe. Good, and release the hands down, shake it out, good job. All right, shake out those legs, nice work. Very good job. All right, inhale those fingers high to the sky. And exhale, let's fold forward, maybe a slow dive, circling those arms. Inhale, half lift. And exhale to fold. We're going to step back into a tabletop position. So take your time. Then once you're in your tabletop position, just start to lower the belly onto the mat. We're going to come into seal. So bringing the hands upwards towards the corners of the mat, but not all the way. Spreading the fingers out wide. Okay. First things first, let's press the tops of our feet into the mat. And then feel the tops of our thighs and our pelvis. And then as we inhale, take a deep inhale through the nose. And then exhale, start to press the chest up. The arms are extended. And that might be a little tight on the back, lower back. If it's too much, just we come into um, baby seal, which is keeping the forearms on the mat. And the fingers still spread out wide. Your choice. What does it feel like for you? Good, and release, come on down. Nice work, All right? Flip those toes under, tick tock the, the heels left to right here. Nice, all right, press up into a tabletop and then press back into your reset position, which is puppy pose, keeping the hips up high over the knees, walking the hands forward, melting the heart and forehead. Or maybe you want a child's pose, opening up the knees and allowing the hips to come down, melting the heart and forehead. What do you feel closest to today? Good, one more breath here. And then I would love for you to come on up and take a seated position. I'm gonna sit on my bolster. You could sit on your blanket or your block before we come into the yin portion. As promised, we're gonna do a little bit of um, breath work. So, for Taurus season. Playing around with adding the breath work a little bit more towards the center of class, just so that we have time to get into our bodies, right? To get out of our head and into our bodies. And then the breath work can be more effective as well once we have moved our bodies through some asana. So we are going to play with bees breath again, humming bees breath, because I absolutely adore this breath for Taurus season. Taurus rules the senses, it's ruled by Venus. And so the senses, right? Seeing, hearing, touching, tasting. There's no tasting per se in this breath, but we do play with sound because we will close off our ears with our thumbs. And then we do play with touch, which is um, touching our face. And so I'll come closer to the video here so I can explain it. We place our pointer fingers above our eyebrows. 
our middle finger on our eye eyelid softly touching our eyelid and then our ring finger below our eyes and pinky fingers on the face and then our thumbs will close off our ears so we close off our ears because what we're doing is we're inhaling through the nose and when we exhale we're exhaling through the nose and we're keeping our mouth closed but your teeth aren't touching because as you're humming, right, you're making a sound. You don't want your teeth to chatter or make that um, connection. So keep your teeth apart. Remove your tongue from the top of the mouth. First, relax your jaw. Give it permission to just relax. Ah, maybe move it around. Yeah. And so we're playing with vision, right? Closing off our vision, closing off our healing, our hearing. And we're touching into the, the sound and the vibration of the sound. This is an excellent breath to really focus and to play around with tuning out the outside world. It forces you to fold inward, okay? All right, let's get our hand positions ready. And then I'll explain the first one and then you can do a few on your own. Deep inhale through the nose and then humming. Now keeping the ears closed, go ahead and do a few on your own. Good, and when you're ready, just release the hands off of the face. Come back to your basic breath and notice how you still feel the touch on your face. Maybe how you still feel the rhythm within your throat as well. Good, nice breaths here. All right, just take a few deep breaths, allowing your nervous system to stay grounded in through the nose. Exhale mouth. One more deep inhale through the nose. And exhale mouth. All right, we're going to go back to the beginning of class when we did the wide leg fold, but this time we're not going to move through it so quickly. We're going to hold it for a few more minutes, okay? So bring your bolster to the front if you have a bolster, if you want to use one. You can also use blocks here too. So opening the legs up into a V, flexing the toes back towards the knees, bring the bolster in towards your body. From here, inhale, fingertips high to the sky. And exhale, start to fold at the waist, allowing your arms to come down to the bolster or the floor too. If you wanna go deeper, it's up to you. Sometimes it's nice to add a block here actually to rest your head on the bolster. Varying levels. And just breathe. Now coming out of that yang movement and breath here. Yin allows us to slow down. And these eclipses have a very yin feel to them. Just 
slowing down, internal work. All right, just about 30 more seconds here. Notice if anything is shifting that your energy feels different, your thoughts feel different, your breath feels different. Good and release, start to bring the chest up, bring the block to the side, maybe bring the bolster to the side. So we're gonna come onto our backs and come into the IT band. So this is a nice place to use your, grit your um, get your sweater on or your socks. I'm gonna put my socks on. You can leave your bolster nearby for Shavasana, which might be really nice. Yeah, we need to work a little bit into these hips, the side of our hips, IT band. Um, yeah, we did a lot into our legs, right? With the bin for the, yeah, vinyasa movement there. So, all right, coming on to our backs and putting our socks on if you like. I'm bending my knees. Let's cross that right ankle onto the left knee. Take a deep inhale here. And exhale, allow the legs just to fall over to the left side. I love to take my left hand and grab my right foot, okay? Open up the right arm to the right side. So on your left side, you're grabbing your foot and just allowing that this right side of your hip and the IT band, the tendon, everything around the sciatic nerve, just to sort of Loosen, open, ease. Yeah, use the breath. Opening that right arm to the right side, or even bringing the right arm up overhead. Some people love to put it over their head as well. It's up to you.
Yeah, just bring awareness into that knee that is lifted. That's your right knee. Maybe you're holding on to the foot or the shin. And notice your right knee. Maybe you start to just press it away from you just a little bit. Notice how that changes the feeling through the hip and the side, and the band. Taking some deep breaths. Creating space here for you. About 20 more seconds here. Send some deep breaths into these spaces of your body. Good. And release. Come on back up. Let's bring those legs up and uncross the ankles and just do a little tick tock of the knees back and forth, noticing how one side may feel different than the other. Good. All right, and the next side. So let's cross the left ankle, right knee. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, allow the legs to fall over to the right side. So grab that foot now with your right hand and allow the left arm to come out to the left side. Good, you don't have to hold your foot. You don't have to hold your leg. Sometimes it just goes a little deeper, but just check in with your body. Making sure that you feel supported through your shoulders. Good. Some deep breaths, allowing that sensation through your left hip, maybe through the lower back as well, right on up to the thigh. And bring awareness into that left knee that's lifted. And again, like you did the other side, press it away from your body. It's just really subtle. Notice how that changes the sensation through your leg and your lower back. Breathe into this space that you have created.
Then about 15 more seconds here. Taking some nice deep breaths, easing into this. All right, starting to bring the legs back up. Uncross the ankle. And then just tick tock the legs back and forth to recalibrate back to center. And this is your opportunity before we come into Shavasana to really let our practice settle in, to do something that you would like to do. Maybe it is happy baby. It might feel good to hold your knees or maybe you're outside of your legs for happy baby. Or maybe you just wanna open your legs up into a V, like a lifted wide leg fold circling the ankles. Or maybe waterfall, both legs up towards the sky, flexing the toes back towards your knees in a restful position here. It's up to you. Or maybe you just want to pop right down into Shavasana pose, and that's okay too. Good, recalibrating back to center. And thinking about what Shavasana you wanna do. Do you want to use your bolster underneath your knees? Do you want a blanket? Do you want a pillow? Comfy? Do what feels good for you and your body? Sometimes it's really nice if you have a blanket underneath your head to make a small roll so that your neck is supported. It is said that when your neck feels supported, your body can relax. That's why they make those, those ergonomic pillows to support the neck. It's really nice to do in Shavasana as well. Just stay here for a few minutes, letting your practice integrate and maybe calling in that vow to yourself. Something that you'll do every day until the next eclipse. And starting to bring your presence and your awareness back to your physical body, especially the area and through the throat chakra. Finding some breath, bringing it through, through this area of your body into the chest, feeling the chest rise and fall. Wiggling the fingertips and the toe tips. Maybe making some little circles through the wrists and the ankles. And 
Maybe draw the arms up overhead if it's calling to you, giving yourself one last stretch. And feel free to stay on your back or to roll over to a side. Good, pressing up into a seated position or feel free to stay where you are. Finding our hands in Anjali Mudra, the offering pose, or maybe one hand on top of the other on top of the heart. Keeping our eyes closed or low to the floor, giving thanks for today, giving thanks for our practice and giving thanks for one another. I'm wishing you all a lovely week and from my heart to all of yours, namaste. Thank you so much. Well, um, yeah, I will put the video up on the YouTube channel and also I'll see a few of you on Thursday morning. Nice to connect tonight.